Okay, don't mind that we're in the dark right now. I just got back from the worky works and I am starting to develop a headache. It's okay. I'll live. I'll live. I just need to be in the dark. But we're going to go over um, a little a segment I want to call, like, listening to men lie to my face. Because, you know, I'm single. And I want to feel cute. I want to feel cute enough for someone to lie to me. So we're going to find a man. Before we start that, we're going to start with uh, this video right here for some context on things, right? Just pay attention. It's important. ...of the law. Max, as far as my understanding is, he really... Also, don't worry about who Max is. ...goes after the vigilanteism more than working with law enforcement because he believes that law enforcement, as far as on my understanding, they get a lot of things wrong, and um, this is why people get to walk free. In reality, people walk free because investigations like this are so mishandled. When you work with law enforcement, if you ever talk to a law enforcement agent, you would realize that there are evidentiary rules. There are rules on how to investigate people. If you break any of these rules, a halfway decent defense lawyer can always get the scummiest person out of the chestnuts, legally speaking. Right. Which is why law enforcement takes time. They dot their, they dot their I's, cross their T's, and after everything is said and done, they bring the hammer down, and that's why they have super high conviction ratings. Because they're not going to waste taxpayer money or their own time chasing after a dud case. They're going to make sure mm -hmm. everything works so when it's time to go to court over this, when it's time to go over trials, they literally come out winning every time. So remember that. So if you ever get brought in front of the Senate with questions dealing with such a subject... They probably already know you done fucked up. They probably know you done fucked up and you're not trying to own up to the shit. Now, if you want to help law enforcement or the FBI, you can do things like r slash trace an object. This is something that I've shown you before, and this is something where you can literally sit down in front of your computer and assist law enforcement agencies by looking at illegal posts that law enforcement agencies put to the internet. For instance, right here. Also, I believe, I believe, I'm not for certain because I never asked nor checked. The reason that's censored is so that people who actually like have these illegal images which are called illegal images because there's stuff in them that's illegal, but there's certain segments that they're showing and displaying in this. But I think it's so just anybody who's involved with that shit doesn't catch it and then try to change up things or whatever. Or there's a reason for the censorship other than that. I'm not entirely sure, but the point still stands. Just pay attention. When law enforcement agencies post things like this, this is actually from an illegal image, right? What law enforcement does in this situation is crops out all of the illegal things. What they do is they keep what they want you to identify. So if you're somebody who wants to assist an Australian investigation and you recognize what this bed frame is, some of you watching may recognize it. This is something you can immediately identify relay this to the Australian police and it will actually help them investigate and put somebody nefarious behind bars. Same thing with this stuff. Like, this is a wall. They're asking you, do you recognize this wall, this room? Do you recognize this location just off this image? And they're basically banking on the ma vast majority of the internet coming together and somebody giving them a tangible tip. Now to go back to this cult situation that Max... Yeah, the cult thing doesn't matter because it's not even really a cult, it's just a loser. Anyway, um, so... We watched that and educated ourselves. But the main thing is, these illegal images are shared throughout internationally with different investigative um, bodies, right? Interpol um, and such. And they're almost all kept in a blockchain with different hashes on them. And we've gone over blockchains a little bit before, right? So what it is, is they all know these images because they all have access. To the same blockchain in order to get a hold of these hashes and these hashes are very specific they will hit that particular image or anything that is that image itself so there's no way that there should be any company anywhere that would not know how to flag this shit right right so now we're going to uh two seconds we're going to watch Ted Cruz be on 
Mark Zuckerberg's neck. That's what we're doing. Is that it? Yeah, there it is. There it is. So let's, I don't know who this motherfucker is, but he, he just is like, hey, I'm here for the blood. The blood of the lamb of the lizard. <laughs> like, shit like that, right? So let's go ahead. Social media is a very powerful tool. But we're here because every parent I know, and I think every parent in America, is terrified about the garbage that is directed at our kids. Mind you, um, I'm involuntarily child-free. Like, my kids would be here if they hadn't passed away or whatever, right? But at what point do parents just are, 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 are like, you know, um, you're not getting on the internet. That shit's too much. No. You know what I mean? It's just like, I understand the parents are scared of their kids and shit, but that's their fault for not, like, staying up to their kids. Oh, I know, it's the millennial's fault and all that, but he's obviously not a millennial. He's got teenage kids. He's way older than I am. I'm, how old is Ted How old is Ted Cruz, actually? I have a phone right in front of me. Bitch, like, use that. Oh, it's almost dead. Hmm. I definitely came home from work, that's for sure. I want to see how old Ted Cruz is. How old is he? Ta-ta. Ta-ta. How old is Ted Cruz? Oh, shit. And that one. Should turn my Wi-Fi back on. Yeah, that's nice. Go ahead. Go off, sis. Go off, sis. 1970. Well, well, how old is fucking that? I don't want to do math. He's 53. So yeah, he's like boomer status. He's boomer status. He's boomer. He's boomer. He's bo he's a boomer with a bunch of Gen Zers. That sucks. Good for him though. At least he decided to procreate. But uh, but still, it's just like why don't you just make sure your kids don't get into shit? Why well, isn't that what parental controls are for? Why don't you make it to where these companies make this 18 and over, and people have to give their licenses? You're already trying to make everybody have like their devices only be that device they can't like switch their like identities on different devices that's what they're gearing for what you buy is what you buy you want a different device you gotta like uh, 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 pay up the money to get through you might even have to pay a premium just to even use the shit at this point anyway they can get money out of a motherfucker eventually you're gonna have to rent your shit the way that they want to be going because they are so broke because they keep inflating shit on themselves but for some reason we're the ones that got paid for it. but that's just me going off on like my own little tangent right don't mind me Hopefully I'll be dead by then, but who knows. But it, it's just one of those things where it's like, this is an easy fix by just having everybody use their, like, ID or their driver's license to get on the certain websites. Oh, no, you'll be giving people their, your identity. You already do that every time you use goddamn phone. What do you think this thing is? It is literally a legalized government tracking device that everybody uses and has their faces all the time. Do you realize how much this thing flashes at you while you're using it over and over and over and over and over again? With claims of saying, oh, it's to make sure that the screen doesn't lock, even though you're touching the fucking screen. But, you know, don't mind me. I'm just saying, like, there, there are so many... There are easy ways of avoiding kids getting into this shit, but, yeah, it's whatever. Let, let's just keep pretending it's everybody else's job to monitor your kids. Even though, like, this is literally something that's... It, like, it, like, it's so easy. Just make it to where only adults can use certain things. Make it where adults can only use certain websites. That's how Facebook was before. You had to be 18 and over. Um, YouTube, before Google bought it, it was cool, because it was, like... I think 13 and up, and then they went to 18 and up after Google got it, and then they dropped it back down to 13 again, which is like, that's fucking stupid. And then they made YouTube for kids, but for some reason they're worried about kids over here, which is like... 
What the fuck is that gonna be? Hey, I don't. Which mind you, didn't Jake Paul or whichever one of the Paul brothers like show a dead body over in that? And it was still monetized. I'm just, like, I don't know. It's strange things, stranger things. Anyway, let's get back to Ted Cruz. More worried about uh, uh, like uh, think of the children with all his shit. <laughs> I have two teenagers at home. Good for them. And the phones they have are portals to predators, to viciousness, to bullying, to self-harm. To demons. To the Lord. And each of your companies could do a lot more to prevent it. True. Mr. Zuckerberg, in June of 2023, the Wall Street Journal reported that Instagram's recommendation systems were actively connecting pedophiles to accounts that were advertising the sale of child sexual abuse material. In many cases, those accounts appeared to be run by underage children themselves, often using code words and emojis to advertise illicit material. Mm -hmm. In other cases, the accounts included indicia that the victim was being sex trafficked. Now, I know that Instagram has a team that works to prevent the abuse and exploitation of children online. Mm -hmm. But what was particularly concerning about the Wall Street Journal expose was the degree to which Instagram's own algorithm was promoting the discoverability of victims for pedophiles seeking child abuse material. Now this is like the coolest part. When they bring out the evidence. It, it is just so old school. It's just like they made a hard copy. It took me back, man. Took me back to the days. Took me back to the days. In other words, this material wasn't just living on the dark corners of Instagram. Instagram was helping pedophiles. What are you doing? By promoting graphic hashtags, by promoting graphic oh, material wasn't just living on the dark corners of Instagram. Okay, Instagram was helping pedophiles find it. By promoting graphic hashtags, including hashtag ped whore and hashtag preteen sex. I mean, to be fair, it is kind of like the problem with the algorithm, right? It's like whatever you look for, it'll go out into the matrix, which is the internet, and pull it towards you. And it's the creepiest thing because now everyone's realizing, oh, this shit could do it on its own. This shit's so connected to everybody's shit. You'll find it on Instagram. But then again, like, I, like I've heard over the years about how people have found so much pornographic shit and everything. Whereas me, I never know what to look for. So I just, like, liminal spaces. Timeline jumping. Like, cats. Like, I, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm, too way, I'm way too abstract-minded to, like, be able to gear anything towards me. That makes sense. And then I get bored of shit so quickly. And it's just like, man. Sorry. To potential buyers. Instagram also displayed the following Here warning screen. To individuals who were searching for child abuse material. Isn't this beautiful? They literally have a hard copy. Yes, this is like, oh my god. A PDF file network. Wall Street Journal, June 7th, 2023. Mind you, this is actually from a deep dive that Senate is going over that I guess the Wall Street Journal went into to investigate this shit. And they literally printed out a hard copy. I am so proud. Like, you, like look, you kids don't understand. Back in the day, when we wanted a picture that we found on the internet, we waited until the teacher was out of the classroom and we printed our posters and we rolled it or folded it up, put it somewhere safe on it, took us home, pulled out that tape, that scotch tape that mom's been looking for that she can't find. We've had it the entire goddamn fucking time. You best, you like, look, I've been trying to get this poster for a week and he finally went to the goddamn bathroom. You goddamn right I was saving this. Take that motherfucker up and stare at it in all your glory. You thieved it and now you got your trophy on the wall. It was good old days back in the fucking 90s when computers were coming out. Because it was just learning how all of it works. And how you can take advantage of all this shit. It was a great time. And this just took me all the way back. It was like... 
there is some like Lisa Frank that'd be wonderful what the fuck are you doing son what are you playing with This young is running around. Like he's playing with a cat. Anyway, I'm proud of this hard copy. Let's go. And this, and mind you, this was yesterday. Ah. Hello. Were you playing hard? Did you take a healthy poop? Is that why you're zooming all in the house? Hmm? Is that what you're doing? Come on. With your silly ass. With your silly ass. With your silly ass. ass, ass, ass. Silliest ass. Silliest ass. Ass, 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 ass. Let's continue on with this because I'm getting distracted with my cat. Be that's terrible. Just like just uh, the first line in the bowl. That's just bad. These results may contain images of child sexual abuse. And then you gave users two choices. Get resources or see results <laughs> anyway. Like there's no backing out. Like is there a thing where you, like there's not even an X anywhere close to it. Yes, go run, my son. There's not even an X close to this shit. But the two uh, options are where what like what kind of resources actually? Now I'm sitting here like wait, cause I, like I looked at this this one last night, and then, and then there's the next one I'm wanting to show you guys because I haven't seen that one yet but I saw this one and I'm just like what the fuck does that even mean Get re resources for where Mark resources for where fucking Lisa this nigga is aggressive with his playing Mr. Zuckerberg what the hell were you thinking well, this All right, Senator, um, the, the, the basic science behind that is that when people are searching for something that is problematic, it's often helpful to, rather than just blocking it, to help direct them towards something that, um, that could be helpful for getting them to get help. In, in what, I also, understand get resources. In what sane universe is there a link for C results anyway? Well, because we might be wrong. We we try to trigger this. Now, you remember the footage, the video from uh, Mudahar, who was the first dude I showed you. You remember what he said about like there being like websites where you could just look at these illegal images, and, it, and it's like if you see this, do you recognize this? Da, da, da. You would think he would use his website to be able to vet through that shit. A baby. Like, just, uh, like fun fact. One time. My cousin got her um, photo flagged and she was banned for like seven days on Facebook because they said her armpit was showing and called it nudity. And then like the same day, there was a video of this naked chick. Actually, there's I saw two videos of two different naked chicks, but it was on different days. But the same day one, she was like full on naked, titties out, the bush, straight, and V, she even had a have a trail. And it was just like, how the fuck is this on Facebook? But my cousin can't show her fucking armpit. The fuck? Is this nuts? You know, so it's not like Facebook's algorithm don't see nothing. But apparently, they they like playing head games with people. Apparently, they, they've been playing head games for a while. Because there's all, been all sorts of traffic jams, as I would call it, on a Facebook that apparently has been brought to attention. And, but people have been knowing about this for a while. Like, I think I even read up on this back in um, June, July. And now we're here. And now we're here. This uh, warning, or we tried to, um, when we think that there's any chance that the results... Okay, you might, might be, be wrong. Let me ask you, how many times was this warning screen displayed? I don't know, but the... But the hey, you don't know. Why don't you know? 
I, I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. But well, you know what, Mr. Zuckerberg, it's interesting you say you don't know it off the top of your head because I asked it in June of 2023 in an overlight, oversight letter and your company refused to answer. Will you commit right now to within five days answering this question for this committee? We'll follow up on that. Is that a yes? Not a will follow up. I know how lawyers write statements saying we're not going to answer. Will you tell us how many times this warning screen was... Isn't it amazing how you'd be on people's neck when it comes to, like, the right things? Fucking Teddy. Displayed. Yes or no? Senator, I'll personally look into it. I'm not sure if we have... Okay, so you're refusing to answer that. Let me ask you this. How many times did an Instagram user who got this warning that you're seeing images of child sexual abuse, how many times did that user click on see results anyway, I want to see that? Senator, I'm not sure if we stored that, but I'll personally look into this and we'll... Which is crazy, because it's like, what do you mean by storage? Shouldn't your... Doesn't your algorithm keep track of that? Like, you keep track of every fucking thing else a person does. You know, I can go on my Facebook and I can actually, like, download all of my activity on there. You can actually download all your personal data from Facebook. Because they keep all of that stored. All your messages, all your posts, all your comments, everything. Exchanges, people who are following you. Even if you can't even see them on your thing, it'll show up in that data if you download it. But he can't just run a quick, like, scan on how many clicks something. Okay. Yeah, you remember back in the day when, like, the internet first started and they used to keep counters for how many visitors were on a website? Or better yet, don't you think it's interesting how, like, they use, like, uh, that, uh, recapture thing to determine whether you're a human or a robot, but he isn't smart enough to know how to, like, get numbers for how many people clicked this many times on this part of the link or this many times on that part of the link? I was like, isn't it interesting? See, this is fun. I love it when men lie to me because I can just sit here and be like, oh, I, I, you alien looking motherfucker. Like, look at him. His face is such a weird, shiny thing and his ears are odd. Hearing him talk, it's like he should not have been here without at least looking over. Like, I feel like he should have known what the fuck they were going to ask him. I feel like he should have known. Follow up after. And what follow up did Instagram do when you have a potential pedophile clicking on, I'd like to see child porn? What did you do next when that happened? Now, what do you think is, you got two options. He can either answer, well, we veered them towards the website where you can look at these little images or the parts of the little images so they can determine if this image matches what it is because we don't have enough people to look at this, even though we're a big company. A lot of things skips us. A lot of uh, the shit that triggers our algorithm, such as the cousin's armpit. Um, sometimes, we're still working on it. it. It's a fucking computer and it's stupid and it's really sensitive and we're trying to get it to understand things. Or is, that could be one answer. That would be a decent lie. Or is he going to say some completely ignorant shit? Five, four, three, two, one. Senator, I think that an important piece of context here is that any context that we think is child sexual Mr. Zuckerberg, abuse, that's called a question. What did you do next when someone clicked, you may be getting child sexual abuse images, and they click, see results anyway. What was your next step? You said you might be wrong. Did anyone examine, was it in fact, child sexual abuse material? Did anyone report that user? Did anyone go and try to protect that child? What did you do next? Senator, we take down anything that we think is sexual abuse material on the service, and we do... Did, did anyone verify to... whether it was in fact child sexual abuse material? Oh, okay. You take it down, but like these results may contain... So then with, why... why you... Like, see, and that doesn't make any sense, because it's just like, if it takes it down, why is there even an option to see it anyway? Hmm. Maybe I'm asking the wrong questions. Senator, I don't know if, if every single search result we're following up on, but... In, did did but you report the, board, the people who wanted it? Senator, do you want me to answer your question? Yeah, I want you to answer the question I'm asking. Did you report time to speak the people them? who click see results anyway? Uh, that's probably one of the factors that we use in reporting and in general and we've reported 
more people and done more reports like this to NICMIC, the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children, than any other company in the industry. We proactively go out of our way across our services to do this and have made, I think it's more than 26 million reports, which is more than the whole rest of the industry combined. So, so you know how many reports you made, but you know how many people clicked on that? Men lying to my face. So Mr. Zuckerberg, the, the, Mr. Zuckerberg, that, that we, your that we company and every social media company needs to do much more to protect children. All right, Mr. Chu, in the next couple of minutes. All right, let's go to this next one. I haven't watched this yet. This is your Thank you all for suck. being here. Uh, Mr. Spiegel. Spiegel. I see you hiding down there. What does yada, yada, yada mean? I'm not familiar with the term, Senator. Very uncool. Can we agree that what you do, not what you say, what you do is what you believe and everything else is just cottage cheese? Why is he yes, talking Senator. like my dad? You agree with that? Speak up. Don't be shy. I, I, I've listened to, to you today. I've heard a lot of yada, yada, yada. And I've heard you talk about the reforms you've made. And I appreciate them. And I've heard you talk about the reforms you're going to make. Okay. But I don't think you're going to solve the problem. I think Congress is going to have to help you. I think the reforms you're talking about... See, that makes me feel like he didn't bribe Congress enough. That makes me feel like he didn't bribe the, the government enough. Because normally, like... You know, if, a, if the government's stepping in, usually it's because you need to give them something. Be like, oh yeah, just give me some money and you can have total control over this. That's normally how it works. You invent something new... You mean we invented something new. We're a democracy. That's why we operate like communism. Just letting you know. But uh, this feels like he didn't bribe Congress enough, and that's why he's fucking here again. Every fucking few years, he's back in Congress because they find out, oh, wait, we missed something. Payment. That to some extent are going to be like putting, putting paint on rotten wood. And I'm not sure you're going to support this legislation. I'm not. Um, the, the fact is that you and some of your internet colleagues who are not here are no longer, you're, you're not companies, you're countries. You're, you're very, very powerful. And you and some of your colleagues That's who are not here to say. have blocked everything we have tried to do in terms of reasonable regulation. Everything from privacy to child exploitation. And, um, in fact, we, we have a new definition of recession. Um, a recession is when, we know we're in a recession when Google has to lay off 25 members of Congress. That's what we're down to. What? We're also down to this fact, that your platforms are hurting children. I'm not saying they're not doing some good things, but they're hurting children. And I know how to count votes, and if this bill comes to the floor of the United States Senate, it will pass. What we're going to have to do, and I say this with all the respect I can muster, is convince my good friend Senator Schumer to, to go to Amazon, buy a spine online, and bring this bill to the Senate floor. And uh, the House will then pass it. Okay, so this old ass regnet's confusing me because all they have to do is make him like r restrict the age and have people use their fucking driver's license or some proof of who they is in order to use these websites. It's literally not that hard. Like, you restrict kids the same way you restrict them from smoking and from drinking. Yeah, they either need the right age or they are not verified. And it is way more easier doing it that way than back in the day when I was growing up and you could make a fake ID. Or you got an adult to do it for you. Like, it's literally the only way.
Like, that, all you have to do is, like, keep kids off of it by restricting them by age. It's not that hard. Oh, what about Social Security? What about the Social Security number? The government's already going to be stepping in. Pretty, it, 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 This motherfucker just called, like, these companies countries. Do you understand what the United States of America does with countries? They give them freedom. Especially if they get if they have oil. Oh, they need an extra dose of freedom. You bet you motherfucker. That's what's happening here. You wanna invade our lands? Fine, we're invading your technology. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Like Now that's that's one person's opinion. I may be wrong, but I doubt it. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, let me ask you a couple of questions. Let's might wax a little philosophical here. Um, I have to hand it to you. Uh, you you have um, you have convinced over two billion people. Oh, he took his glasses To off. give up all of their personal information, every bit of it, mm -hmm. in exchange for getting to see what their high school friends had for dinner Saturday night. That's pretty much your business model, isn't it? Yeah, like you're taking our job, man. Only the government gets to know every little fucking detail, but thank you for making it easier for us to spy on our citizens. Oh, wait, we weren't like Mexico or Ireland or Saudi Arabia or any of these other countries who flipped it. It's been flipped on us. That's the fucking problem. That That's actually legit problem here these companies got big um without government assistance and now the government's got to find a way in it is just like can again zuckerberg lie good enough to get out of it i don't think so i think he's fucked i think he's fucked it's not Look how i would characterize it and we give people the ability to connect with the people they care about and um and to mm -hmm. engage with the topics that they care about and you, and you take this information, this abundance of personal information, and then you develop algorithms to punch people's hot buttons which, and, send, and, and, and steer to them information that punches their hot buttons again and again and again to keep them coming back and to keep them staying longer. And as a result, your users see only one side of an issue. And so, to some extent, your platform has become a killing field for the truth, hasn't it? That's a hell of a way of putting it. But yeah! Like, for anybody who doesn't know, the there was, like, I can't remember if it was with, um... I want to say it was with Obama and whoever the fuck Obama was going against. I don't remember who he was. Who the fuck was he running against? It could have been the last one, but it might also have been the one with, like, the first round with Trump or his only round so far. Everyone's trying to make it his only round. I'm pretty sure he's going to get it again. You think so, too, Phil? I think he, he's probably going to get it again. And then we're all fucked up. Because after he leaves office, everyone's going to just pick anything. That is not Republican, because that's just normally how it goes. Um, whoever's in office, you're going to want to vote for the opposite for it. That's just how it's been going. But um, it was one of like the elections where like Facebook was actually like developing AI bots that were literally mimicking, thank you phone, um, users on its website to drive political... Um, propaganda the people mainly for a uh, liberal shit they were literally creating bots and shit um to talk like actual people and to gear people into political things and that actually swayed um the votes they found it was actually a thing they actually um propagated this insanity to the regular users and people fell for it and that's kind of what this dude is talking about if it wasn't for zuckerberg and facebook um uh, uh, the actual um uh, thank you phone the actual um vote would have been much different you know like that's the thing much much different i mean senator i disagree with that that characterization um you know we build ranking and recommendations buttons again and again and again 
to keep them coming back and to keep them staying longer. Mm -hmm. And as a result, your users see only one side of an issue. And so, to some extent, your platform has become a killing field for the truth, hasn't it? I mean, Senator, I disagree with that, that characterization. Um, you know, we build ranking and recommendations because people have a lot of friends and a lot of interests that and they want so to make sure that they stupid. see the content that's relevant to them. Um, we're trying to make a product that's useful to people and, and make our services um, as helpful as possible for people to connect with the people they but, care about and the interests they care about. You hear how he's like worded all that, but he just ignored the fact that like this guy saying, hey, your algorithm kept pressing people until it was like they kept putting themselves in echo chambers that they couldn't get out of. Well, it was for friends and family and you know. That's fake news, man. It's fake news. Smokes pot. Vote Obama. Even though he's already done his two terms. But you don't That's show do. them both sides. You don't give them balanced information. You just keep punching their hot buttons, punching their mm -hmm. hot buttons. You don't show them balanced information so people can discern the truth for themselves. And, and you rev them up so much that, that so often your platform and others becomes just cesspools of snark where nobody learns anything, mm. don't they? Well, Senator, I disagree with that. I think people can engage in the things that they're interested in. He said that like, they were, do nothing but engage in snark. That, that doesn't sound like a YouTube comment section. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that's the main problem. It's just like when you really like look at a lot of YouTube videos sometimes, you'll notice that they always say it's like a documentary. Um when I think Penn Gillespie or Gillette or I, I can't remember his name, the dude from Penn and Teller, the one that talks, he went in being like, I don't like documentaries at one point because I remember he was doing a documentary. He's actually very much against them because it's just like they're always meant to gear you to believe one thing. And most YouTube videos technically are documentaries. They always gear you to see things one way, not usually the other. Um, but still interesting way of putting it but he's not wrong um and learn quite a bit about those we have done a, a handful of different experiments and things in the past around news and trying to show like content on, on you know diverse set of, of of perspectives i think that there's more that needs to be explored there but i don't think that we can solve that by ourselves one do, of the things do, that do i you saw think, i'm sorry to cut you off mr mr president but i'm gonna run out of time do you think your users really understand what they're giving to you, all of their personal information, and how you how you process it and how you monetize it? Do you think people really understand? Uh, Senator, I think people understand the basic terms. I mean, I, I think that there's. Let, that, that, let me put I, it, I actually let, think that a lot of people let me put it another way. We, we spent a couple of years have. since we talked about this. Does your user agreement still suck? Mm. I, I'm, can, I'm not sure you, how to answer that, Senator. Can, can, you, I, I still hide a, can I, you still hide a dead body in all that legalese where nobody can find it? Senator, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to, but I think people get the basic should. feel of using these services. It's a free service. You're using it to connect with the people you care about. If you share something with people, other people will be able to see your information. It's it's inherently, you know, if you're putting something out there to be shared publicly um, or with a private set of people, it's you know, you're inherently putting it out there. So I, I think people get that basic I, but, part but, of how. But this Mr. Zuckerberg, works. you're in the foothills of creepy. You you track you track you track people who aren't even Facebook users. You track your own people, your own users who are your product, even. Even when they're not on Facebook, I, oh. I, I mean, I'm I'm going to land this plane pretty quickly, Mr. Chairman. I, I, just, I mean, it's creepy, and I understand you make a lot of money doing it, but I just wonder if if our technology is greater than our humanity. I mean, let me ask you this final question. Ooh, good question. Instagram is harmful to young people, isn't it? Senator, I disagree with that. That's not what the research shows on balance. That doesn't mean that individual people don't have issues and that there aren't things that, that we need to do to, to help provide the right tools for people. 
but across... Nigga, I found a whole clown that does a nasty, nasty dance, and I don't know if anybody else knows of this person existing, but I just happened to find one. It's just like, you know what? Everybody needs somebody. Here, here's your sub, dude. You keep doing what you're doing as long as you ain't hurting nobody. Kind of wish they'd wash their wigs, though. Same, dude. Same. But, th but there's all sorts of crazy shit out there. That is technically harmful to kids, which is why we make age-restricted things. Because kids can't handle a lot of shit. Why the fuck are you up here for pets, then? Thank you. What's your ass? What'd you do? Eat some catnip while I was gone? Crazy ass. But you know, it, it's one of those things where it's just like, if you put age restriction on, like if you're already collecting people's data, you might as well just require people's IDs. This poor bit, bitch back here with her eye. Like his face covers it up, but I can tell that lash right there is too heavy for that eyelid or some shit. I don't know what's going on. God bless her. She looks good. But I just saw that stink face. It's just like, what the fuck is going on with your eye? But yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just like, we're, if they're already collecting our data, what's the point in like not using your ID at this point? You know, if we're really going to go down this road, we might as well just start putting our IDs in. I mean, we have to use it to get other shit, don't we? We have to use it to get alcohol. We have to use it to get a driver's license. We have to use it to get um, a home or at least rent somewhere. We need it for to get a job. Um, we need it to sign up for utilities and all sorts of shit to identify ourselves to the cops when we're like, who are you? And yeah, like, what, am I detained? Or some shit like that, right? We might as well. Because that's the route this is going. I don't know why people are still on this kick where they think that they still have privacy. Like, if you're on the internet... Ever. Doesn't matter if it's been 15 years. You don't have privacy, period. Like, I don't I don't understand. What, what, like, you know, Snowden was telling everybody, but now everyone wants to freak out about it. Mm. All the research that we've done internally, I mean, this, this the, uh, you know, survey that uh, the senator previously cited, um, you know, there are 12 or 15 different categories of harm that we asked um, teens if they felt that Instagram made it worse or better. And across all of them, except for the one that 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 um, that Senator Hawley cited, um, more people said that using Instagram. I, I've got a land this that point, they face, Mr. Zuckerberg. Either positive or. Uh, let me. We just have to agree to disagree. If if you believe that Instagram, I know it's. I'm not saying it's intentional, but if you agree that Instagram, if you think that Instagram is not hurting millions of our young people, particularly young teens, particularly young women, you shouldn't be driving. It is. Thanks. Senator Butler. Mm. Last one, and then I gotta go, because I gotta take a shower and get ready to go. Members leave and come back. It, it's no disrespect. They're doing their job. Senator Lee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Tragically. <clears throat> oh, he looks like an asshole. Survivals, survivors of, uh, of sexual abuse are often repeatedly victimized and re-victimized over and over and over again by having uh, non-consensual images of themselves uh, on social media platforms. There's a NCMEC study uh, that pointed out there was um, one instance um, of CSAM that reappeared more than 490,000 times after it had been reported, after it had been reported. Jesus. So we need tools in order to deal with this. We need, uh, frankly, laws e in order to mandate standards so Why that this does doesn't happen so that we have a system. Why does so hard? Why does she look so hard? Why does she look so aggressively hard? What the fuck, lady? What is it? Like, she's just beeping her eyes back and forth. It's just like she's peeping on people. Why is this woman so hard? He's relaxed. She's looking like she's ready to take someone the fuck out. Holy shit. ...dramatic way of getting rid of this stuff because there, there, there is literally no plausible justification, uh, no way of defending this. Uh, 
uh, one tool, uh, one that I think would be particularly effective, is a, a bill that I'll be introducing uh, later today, and I invite all my committee members to join me. It's called the PROTECT Act. The PROTECT Act would, in pertinent part, require websites to verify age and verify that they've received consent of any and all individuals appearing on their site in pornographic images. And it also require platforms to have meaningful processes for an individual seeking to have uh, images of him or herself removed in a timely manner. Or just have everyone just take a picture of the fucking ID. Why? Why? I figured it out in two seconds and they want to introduce bills and shit and cost tax. Okay, whatever. Uh, Ms. Yacarino, based on your understanding of existing law, what might it take for a person to have those images removed, say from X? I, Senator Lee, thank you. It sounds like uh, what you're going to introduce into law in terms of ecosystem-wide and user consent sounds exactly like part of the philosophy of why we're uh, supporting the SHIELD Act. And no one should have to endure non-consensual images being shared online. Yep. And w without that, without laws in place, it, and it's fantastic anytime a company, uh, as, as, uh, as you've described with yours, wants to take those steps, it's very helpful. It can take a lot longer than it should, and sometimes it does, to the point where somebody had images uh, uh, shared uh, 490,000 times after it was reported to the authorities, and, and that's mm. deeply concerning. Um, very concerning. But yes, uh, the PROTECT Act uh, would work Which in tandem with it's a good complement to the SHIELD Act. Um, Mr. Zuckerberg, let's turn to you next. Uh, as you know, I, I feel strongly about privacy and believe that one of the best protections uh, uh, for an individual's privacy online uh, involves end-to-end -end encryption. But we also know that a great deal of grooming mm -hmm. and sharing of CSAM happens to occur uh, on end-to-end -end encrypted systems. Tell me, does, does Meta allow juvenile accounts on its platforms to use encrypted messaging services within those apps? Oh. Sorry, Senator, what do you mean juvenile? Uh, underage. People Nina. under 18. Under 18. Uh, he did not just ask that. Like, do you not know what a juvenile is? Some people who are child free are dangerous. Some of the time without kids, they don't remember what it's like to be with kids, and that's kind of necessary if you have something where there are fucking kids involved. Um, we, we allow under, people under the age of 18 to use WhatsApp, and, and we do allow that to be encrypted, yes. Do you have oh, a, a bottom level age at which they're not allowed to use it? I, yeah, I don't, think we allow people, I don't think we allow people under the age of 13. Yep. Uh, what about you, Mr. Citron? Uh, on Discord, do you have um, do you allow kids to have accounts? Oh, Discord to access encrypted messaging. Um, Discord is not allowed to be used by children under the age of thirteen, and we do not use end-to-end -end encryption for text messages. You know, we believe that it's very important to be able to respond to well-formed law, law enforcement requests. Um, to uh, and we're also working on proactively building technology. We're working with a, a nonprofit called. Thorn Mind you, Discord has a, a notorious reputation for um, the gathering of PDF files and children in certain servers. I'm really glad all the stuff that I do not use is up on the chalking block, because god damn. To build a grooming classifier so that uh, our teen safety assist feature can actually identify these conversations if they might be happening so we can intervene and um, give those teens tools to get out of that situation or, or potentially even report those conversations and those people to law enforcement. And, and encryption, is, as much as it can prove useful elsewhere, it, it can be harmful, especially if you're on a site where you know children are being groomed and exploited. If you allow children onto an end-to-end -end encryption um, enabled app, uh, that can prove problematic. Now, uh, let's go back to you Mr. for a moment, Mr. Zuckerberg. Instagram recently announced that it's going to restrict all teenagers 
from access to uh, uh, eating disorder material, suicidal ideation uh, themed material, self-harm content, and that's fantastic. Uh, that's great. Um, what's, what's odd, what, what I'm trying to understand is, is why it is that Instagram is um, only restricting, it's, it's restricting access to, to uh, sexually explicit content but only for teens ages 13 to 15. Uh, why not restrict it for 16 and 17 year olds as well? Uh, Senator, my understanding is that we don't allow sexually explicit content uh, on, on the service for people of any age. Uh Bullshit, I have seen so much porn on goddamn Instagram and I didn't even mean to. I've had, like my ex-husband even pulled up shit and showed me one time. And mind you, I know Instagram works. Like, uh, and mind you, I had to look for the porn shit. I, I, he probably had to look for it too, but I've had Instagram for like years. I think even before I heard the kids, but whatever. But it was like um, a tragedy. Like, it's all over the place, really. It is. And they use little filters and shit to cover up certain things, but you can still see what the fuck's going on. But it's like, yeah, that, that's all over Instagram. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about, being like, oh, they don't allow it. It's just like, you, you do a damn shit job then. That's for sure. Um, the, the, um, how is that going? Uh, oh my God. You know, our, our, uh, our prevalence metrics suggest that w I think it's 99% or so of the content that we remove, we're able to identify automatically using AI systems. So I think that our efforts in this, while they're not perfect, I think are industry leading. Um, so wait, you can pick up all that sexually explicit material, but you can't keep C Sam. Uh, all right, just keep lying in my face. The other thing that you asked about was um, self-harm content, which is what we recently restricted. And we made that shift. The, the, um, I think the state of the science is shifting a bit. Previously, we believed um, that when people were thinking about self-harm, it was important for them to be able to express that and get support. And now more of the 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 thinking in the field is that it's just better to not show that content at all which is why we recently moved to restrict that from showing up for uh for for those teens at all for hey, is there a, a way for uh for parents to make a request on what their kid can see or not see right. on your sites um there are a lot of parental controls uh, i i'm not sure if they're i don't think that we currently have a control around topics but we do allow parents to control um, the time that the children are on the site. And also, a lot of it is based on kind of monitoring and understanding what the, the teen's experience is. Mr. What they're, what they're interacting what? With Mr. Citroen, uh, Discord allows pornography on its site. Now, reportedly, 17% of minors who use Discord has, have had online sexual interactions on your platform. 17% and 10%. Uh, have those interactions with someone that the minor believed uh, to be an adult. Uh, do you restrict minors from um, from accessing Discord servers that host pornographic material on them? No. Uh, Senator, yes, we, we do restrict minors from accessing content um, that is marked for adults. Um, Discord also does not recommend content to people. Discord is a chat app. We do not have a feed or an algorithm that boosts content. Um, so uh, we allow adults to share content with other adults in adult labeled spaces and we do not allow teens to access that content. Okay. I see my time's expired. Thank you. There we go. I hope you all enjoyed that and see all these motherfuckers like get lined up for a shopping block because apparently that's what's happening. Talk to you later. Bye.